The fittest winner is not just a journey of six contestants. It's a journey of six contestants and all of you, the online participants. We are doing this together. We are striving to be great together. Hey Raw Stars, I'm here with the fittest winner contestants and I am so excited because we are now doing a recap on the episode that we had with Nicole Ari Parker and that was about the winning mindset. We all did an exercise this week called delete and replace which means that you deleted all of your negative thoughts and replaced them with positive thoughts. So we're going to find out how the contestants did. I want to hear from all of you OPs out there to make sure that your minds are clean and focus on your goals. So I want to know like what are some of the really milestones that you've had um, regarding the winning mindset. So we'll start with you, Ananya. I've had so many. Um, I think a very big one last week was you know, looking at all of you and seeing that you're just making so much progress. And I still feel like sometimes I'm not making as many push-ups or I can't hold a plank as long as everyone else. And I began to realize that's a really negative way of thinking because it's not about what everyone else is doing. It's about how far I've come myself. I had a huge case of like reverting back to negative thinking and I had to snap out of it. I went to the mall and I was trying on clothes and I tried on this one romper. I just looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, I didn't like what I saw still. I was, and then instead of like thinking that way, I had to snap out of it. There's so much more that I can do and I'm right. definitely getting there. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed the changes. It's not like I'm gonna wake up one day and be like super toned. It's a progression. It is a journey, not a destination. It's not a place that you get to and then everything is like perfect and the sun is shining. What you have to learn how to do is enjoy this journey. I was doing a side plank of one of your videos one night and I'm like, I cannot keep myself up. What is the problem with me? I'm not strong enough and I've been working out for already a month and a half. Mm -hmm. But then I remember I said, this is again, like the ladies were saying, it's a progress. You know, you don't get strong overnight. Right. You don't do side planks overnight. I mean, right. you're doing it so seamlessly that I'm like, I want to be like this <laughs> yeah. now. Um, but again, it's one of those things that's just like a work in progress. What really helps is to focus on one thing. Like if you really want to do a push-up or a side plank, if you want to run a marathon, when you get your mind focused on one thing, you know, my other expression is, what you focus on expands. Yeah. So then your muscles will get stronger, your mind will you'll be thinking about it, you'll reel on all of the supportive muscles to make you make this challenge complete. So whenever you have something that you really want to work on, make it a goal, do a little bit each day, and soon you'll get there. Okay, so this is really exciting. It's time to do the drum roll, everybody. Da -da 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 Who is gonna be the winner of the delete replace challenge? And don't forget, you OPs get to win too. So I will be reviewing all of your entries of you know what your experiences were of deleting your negative thoughts and replacing them with replacing them with positive thoughts, and you will see who the winner is on this show. Okay, so we have talked this week about the winning mindset. And a lot of it is being able, being able to not just um, stop your thoughts, but to change your thoughts. And there's one of these raw stars out here that has really been struggling with making sure that they stay on the positive. So this challenge has been really great for her because not only does she say, okay, yes I can, but she completes her task afterwards. So I'm so proud to announce that Ananya is the winner. Um, that's right, the Delete Replace Challenge. And she has these weights to remind her every time she sees all of these weights that are two, three, and five pounds, how strong she is. Hey, what you can, right? Yes. You can do it. Yes. You can do anything you set your mind to. We can do this. We can. We are better together. Right, girls? To you OPs out there, let's give them a handshake. We better are better together. together. We love you. This week's winner for the OPs is Jiviaga Williams, whom I like to call ZB. Congratulations, Z. Okay, so we were doing our vision boards this week, and this is one of the most important challenges of this whole journey. Why? Because your visions need to be clean and crisp right in the center of your mind at all times. So this vision board helps for you to create your own reality, whether it's in your love life, or your health, your fitness, your business, it really brings everything into one center so that you can focus on it. And the expression I always adhere to, what you focus on expands. And we have to do this together because you know what? We're better together. When we have those visions on paper, take a picture of it, put it on your phone, look at it, at it every single day, and that will become your reality. Hey, Rockstars, it's Tiffany Roth, and guess what? The fittest 
winter retreat has now gone to Sunset Ranch Oasis. Okay, Raw Stars, we're here on the fittest winner, and I have an amazing Raw Star reinforcement. I always bring in other people that are amazing to help these fittest winner challengers on their journey. So today I have celebrity chef Kai Chase. And I can tell you she is no ordinary chef. She has worked with the best of the best, including Michael Jackson, Barack Obama, and Mary J. Blige. So <laughs> she's now here. I'm the fittest winner. We're, you know, that's who we consider ourselves to be associated with. So we're doing a segment on healthy eating made simple. And she's going to teach us how to do what? Eat like a celebrity. That's right. <laughs> so we're going to do a Waldorf salad. We're going to be doing a chicken Waldorf salad today. Uh -huh. And we're going to make it healthy. And we're going to eliminate one ingredient that's going to make healthy. So pay attention. We're going to start with the chicken. Two cups of chicken here, already chopped. So it's chicken breast, nice and seasoned. Nice and seasoned. No oil or anything. No, I poached. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, in, in water and lemon juice and orange juice. Wow. So you get an accessory. Okay. Chopped celery. I love celery. You like that crunch. Yes. <laughs> yes. And some grapes. Grape. She made the salad for me. <laughs> she has all my favorite ingredients in here. Great yes. celery. <laughs> she loves this. She's yeah. favorite salad. Yes. And some green crunch. Oh, yay. Okay. And you gotta have a little more crunch, so yes. have a little bit of chocolate. And a little bit more extra protein, so some unsalted. What are those? These are pecans. So there's our salad thing. Now we're gonna create the dressing. Okay. Now this is the lighter part. Instead of using mayo, we're gonna use a balsamic. A tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Okay. And we have a half a cup of Dijon vinegar. Yeah, stream it in and I'll whisk very slowly. Okay. That's about it. Okay. okay. Great seed oil. Yes. Mm. And a little pinch of the sea salt. Okay. We always use sea salt because it has more minerals in it. It's much better than table salt and more. Okay. Just one, a little pinch. One more pinch. There we go. All right. I'm cooking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're fabulous. Yes, I am. Fabulous. <laughs> The thing is, you know, eating healthy can actually be so much faster than cooking. You know, all you have to do is have your chicken prepared and you can be really creative with your salads, exactly. right? Yeah, because you don't have time to be in the kitchen, but you want to eat healthy. Yes, and yeah. also a lot of times if you, you can keep your ingredients separate and if you're traveling to work or school or whatever, you can see how quick it is to mix it. Exactly. So that's her whole philosophy, healthy eating made simple. Yes. All right, so since we eliminated the fat part, okay. we're going to put a healthy fat in instead of the mayo fat. I like that. And we're going to do the salad with an avocado. Very so we're good. Cut the avocado in half. This is good brain food too. So if you're forgetting a lot of stuff, the avocado is really good for your brain. So. Very cool. Yeah. And we're going to stuff the avocado with chicken salad. And what's this? Is he like. We're trying to take the seed out the avocado there. Ah. That's the technique. That's the technique. Yeah. Dive into it and twist. Oh, look at that. Stuffed yes, stuff. Yes, stuffed. So there you oh. have your, your healthy fat, uh -huh. your protein with the nuts. And it already has a little chicken. hole in it and everything. Exactly. That's good. You see how easy that is? I know you guys want some. All right. <laughs> oh, look at that. So we'll just decorate it like this. And this is enough for two people. Um, you put a few more avocados and then you've got a party. Voila! <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. The lifestyle challenge of this week is to make a creative salad, okay? Creative salad. And you can use some of my favorite ingredients. And I want to see your pictures and how you make a salad with your own special twist. And that way we can share all of our eating tips. Don't forget to share with us all of your recipes so that we can eat healthy together. Because, hi, you know what our motto is? We are better together. together. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> all right, see you guys next time. Bye. This week's recommendation is for you, all of you OPs out there, to join me at Sunset Ranch Oasis this May for the fit, fierce, and fabulous 
fitness retreat. All the info is in the description box below. Space is very limited. See you there.